measurements and got everything ready to uh, start mounting the monitors and cut stuff on the Maslow CNC machine. So let's go out there and see if we can't screw it up. I'm going to attempt to time lapse, but I'm sure I messed that up too. Let's see how it goes. Products. We have the board to secure the back box TV, the back box, the main TV mount here, and the front of the main TV stops so these will sit and it'll swing down on it. And these are just spacers for the back box uh, main TV. So let's see how this stuff fits. There's those videos, but I think she'll be happy to know that that master's degree in engineering is good for something. So the bolts all fit. They all line up. The vents so dark in here. All lined up pretty perfectly. There and there. This is a little off but that's probably me being stupid. I think I measured from there, so it's off by the half an inch, uh, the two bit diameters basically, but that was just a dumbass. But it'll still work. This one's about perfect. And that one's about perfect too. So that makes me feel better. Let's try the other one. You see that? That bit me. Took a nice little chunk out of my thumb. So if there's blood, sorry. The big monitor fits like a damn glove. A little extra room to center it. A little monitor here though, fits good up and down, but it's just barely too short here Unfortunately, I didn't put enough of a buffer on it, so I'm going to have to kind of scrape that out with a screwdriver or a chisel or something. So let's see if this fits properly. I'm pretty half-assed impressed with myself. That actually fit perfect. The problem is these bolts are like an inch too long, but that's all right. Looks good. Let's see what it looks like from the other side if I can do it without breaking it. Oh yeah. Got the nice lag screws or carriage bolts rather, so they'll look good when they're in there. So I gotta go fix that bottom one down there. So it'll lay flat. And then I bought a like a bit to kind of round off the edges of this. So it'll look a little better once it's painted. All right, let's get some speakers and make sure they fit too. Pretty much perfect. So does this, there may be a little gap like to the tweeter in and out, but in and out. But other than that, it should fit pretty well. All right, so we just gotta fix this and make sure it actually fits up there. I guess it's the problem. And also I bought this bolt here. I'm sure it'll come back to me, but I can't for the life of me remember what the hell it's for. I'm sure it'll come to me. All right. Filing, we got that to fit perfect. So that one is fixed. When I tried to put it up in the back box, it was just like a little bit too wide. So I bought that table saw there a little bit ago to for another project, but I'm gonna just take and put it on there and just shave the very edge of each side off and that should fit. I think the top and the bottom is good, but I think I just spent so much time trying to get the monitors fit right that I didn't bother measuring it at multiple places to make sure it wasn't, you know, the wood hadn't warped a little bit. So let's do that, and then we'll see if we can figure out the routering part of it. Bad boy over there together. And got this working. 
did a couple past test runs on this piece here, but it didn't turn out half bad. Didn't focus. A little deep, but it's all right. I'll hit it with a sander, knock that edge off of it. And I did run this on the table saw. I'm sorry, I'm sure I should have time-lapsed it, but honestly, I wasn't too keen on getting me cutting my fingers off on film or other various appendages. So we got that about done. So let's go in there after I give it a sand real quick and mount it. Uh, fall out, but it fits perfect-ish. The only thing is, had I known I was going to do it this way, I should have put these pieces right here back just a little bit. Because if I square this up, this part down here hangs off, uh, I don't know, eighth of an inch or so. But honestly, I think if it's all green, you're not going to be able to see it. So, got to figure out how to mount this and then paint it and then stick the TVs in it. So, yeah, I guess it's a little more obvious down here, depending on how straight I make it. So let's figure this out real quick. Little angle brackets that I got from, I don't know, eBay or AliExpress or whatever, and just started them. I got to take it back out, so I just wanted to make the holes in there, see if it was going to split or if I was going to have to drill it, so I didn't scratch the piss out of the paint when I got done. So... This bottom is good, obviously. I wanted to, I was only able to get this one and this one. I wanted to put some up in the middle here, but unfortunately my brackets are too big. So I'll either, once I get the TVs mounted, I don't hurt myself, put some in there somehow like that, or just see if it's fine or Whatever, I think it's probably fine. It's actually pretty, pretty stable. Um, so yeah, let's go take this out, paint it, and start on the big TV. That's better. There we go. She's still pretty wet. Pause, but looks good. I'd have to give it another coat, but last time it kind of looked streaky like this. But it dried pretty well. So let's go back in and work on the other piece. Winch blocks here. We put four little screws. I did drill these because I think it would have split it. Uh, so we're going to put this about, well, this way, yonder on both sides. So this will be our front end stops for this board. Got those in. Then we got to figure out how to do the back. It's done. Sorry, it's so dark. So the brackets fit like so. And naturally, I made that hole a little too low, but hopefully it'll still fit. Let's see what this one looks like. It was a little high. Perfect. It'll be a little lopsided. So now, we got to figure out where to put these on that. And then we got to go to the damn hardware store again, because I did not buy the bolts to secure this. Oh, dear. Wouldn't be fun if you weren't going to Lowe's three times a day. All right, let's mark the holes. So those are marked. Well, that's the wrong side. This one goes here. So we got to get some number six machine screws, I guess, and bolts to attach these. He says you only need three, but I guess I'm just going to do six because I don't have the, the actual wood screws to do the other three. So hopefully they don't interfere with one another. 
Um, but again, we gotta go to Lowe's. So I'm following this Penscape build guide. I know I've said it in my previous build videos, but I don't know that I said it in this one. He lays out how to do this pretty succinctly, and to be honest, I would not have been able to figure this shit out on my own in a reasonable amount of time. So I'm very grateful for him. I'll have to tag him or let him know what I'm doing. So let's fast forward to tomorrow. I need another coat. It looks bad. So I guess we gotta paint some more stuff. So we'll we'll get that. But right now we're gonna drill these holes here. Pretty spiffy. Moment of truth here. Oh yeah. little aluminum bar here to be my little kickstand. I gotta cut a little couple little things for it. Actually this bolt right here that I can remember what I got was to secure this to the side but I don't think I'm gonna do that. I think I'm just gonna make two little wooden things. Kind of a U-shape up over the top and then a matching one for the bottom so that it just kind of sits in there when it's up and then I can take this bar out and just lay it in the bottom when I'm not using it. So let's get that done. Well, I might do that in the next video because I have a couple things I need to cut on the Maslow and I think I'll just add that to it since it's only taking a second. All right. Well, it finally looks like we have some progress. I can't tell if the TV is straight or if it's mounted to this thing crooked, but tell it looks a little wonky. But we have the Evergelis impact, and I've already moved it back three or four inches because I was hitting these, so I think I'm just gonna have to switch those, which is great. So, it's actually not too shabby. doesn't go down to interfere with where the subwoofer is going to be. A little pokey, but it fits. The TV is fairly straight. It's good. I'm happy with that, I suppose. All right. I guess I'm going to end the video there for this time. And next time we'll finish the back box since we got to go paint it. And hopefully put a topper on there.
Although I do have to take this back outside because I'm gonna recess the LED strips in the side, so I gotta take this out and like route a strip in it. So that's so why I wanna put the TV in here so I can see where exactly it needed to be. So I figure, you know, right there, all the way down, we should be all right. So let me know what you think. How bad I screwed this up. And if you spend $100 every time you go to Lowe's or Home Depot, and how long it takes you. Anyway, keep it real. See you later.